How to paint Gale Force 9 Zombie T-Rex today on Dungeon Craft. Gale Force 9 is known for their fantastic miniatures, and this one is a new one. It is a zombie Tyrannosaurus Rex for the Tomb of Annihilation. My buddy Tom glued the model together, but like any large model, there are some big gaps that we're going to need to take care of first before we can paint it. And to do that, we're going to have to use this product called Green Stuff. There are a number of Green Stuff products available. The best, the easiest to work with is this tape. Simply unroll it to the length you want and cut it with your craft scissors. To activate the chemicals, just knead it together like dough until it's this green color. Break off a small piece, roll it into a ball or knead it into a strip and apply it wherever you find a crack. I use this tool to get into the hard to reach cracks and you can also use it to sculpt the surface of the green stuff so it looks more like the model skin. If you dip your finger or your tool into water and then add it to the green stuff, it'll make the green stuff even more pliable and easier to work with. For small cracks, you can use Zappa Gap or Crazy Glue. Here I'm using the Crazy Glue that comes with the brush on the end. Time for some Rattle Can Primer. This is Army Painters Gray. I like gray primer because it can be painted up or down. In other words, it takes dark colors or light colors equally well. For the base coat, I mixed Reaper's Charred Brown with Reaper's Earth Brown. I added water as always, but a little less. Usually the paints I work with, I always say, you want the consistency of skim milk. This is probably the consistency of whole milk. I find if you water down brown too much, it doesn't cover well. So I'm bombing the whole thing brown, even though it's going to end up a much lighter color. Next I move to pure earth brown. You might ask, why do I paint it a darker brown if I'm just going to paint it over with a lighter brown? And the answer is, no matter what I do, I always miss a few spots. And with the darker brown under it, that's okay. The skin will look natural. It'll look like it's modeled. And step one, the base coat is complete. Note I just left the rock gray for now. This is one of my favorite colors. It's Reaper Terrain Khaki. And it's a cross between light brown and a light gray and I'm gonna dry brush the model this color. I dip a dry brush into the paint and wipe off the excess on a paper towel. Then I brush it quickly across the surface of the model and you'll see that the pigment of paint that's left on the brush ends up on the raised surfaces of the model. Two important things, I don't dilute the paint when I'm dry brushing and I also use a wide flat brush. first layer of dry brushing is complete. For the next layer I combine polished bone and linen white. Finally, I combine linen white with pure white. 
and do the raised surfaces yet again. This time I'm using a very light feathered stroke so the paint comes off really on just the highlighted parts of the model. My first layer of blood is Reaper's High Pigment Crimson Red. I use this to paint any of the holes and the tears in the Tyrannosaurus' skin. I'm careful not to get any of the crimson red on the ribs that are sticking through. and slowly the raw guts of the dinosaur meat become exposed. With the undercoat done, it's time to paint the blood. Now I want the blood to be shiny, so to accomplish that, I'm gonna use Tamiya Clear Red X27, some blood red, and some Vallejo water texture. Here's the formula, Tamiya Clear Red, water texture, blood red paint, and then a few drops of brown wash. To test the color, put a drop on your finger. If it looks like real blood, you're ready to paint. Time to hit all those tears in the flesh again. I paint quickly, just pretty much dropping the paint in and letting it flow. If I miss a little bit and some of that crimson shows through, that's fine because it'll look like the wound is crusty around the edges where the blood is more dry. Here I'm mixing the Tamiya X27 Clear Red with Reaper Blood Red and Citadel's Evil Sun Scarlet, which is a really bright red. This bright red highlight will make the blood look more fresh. This dinosaur only has one eye, I'm going to paint it Uriel Yellow. I'm going to paint the eye black, twisting the end of the brush into a narrow tip and just painting straight down. I accidentally filmed the actual painting off camera, but that's okay, you get the idea. I dry brushed the rock base with Citadel's Ushapti Bone, then again in pure white. I shade the skin with Army Painter's Strong Tone Quick Shade, going over every part of the model. For this you'll notice I'm wearing gloves because it will stain your fingers. Also I'm using an old brush that I don't really care about. Quick Shade is oil based so you can't dilute it or clean it with water. You'll have to use Mineral Spirits or WD-40. If you spot any pooling, just soak it up with the end of your brush and wipe it off on a paper towel. I allow the quick shade the recommended 24 hours to dry. When it dries, it'll have a glossy look. To dull it down, I hit it with Tester's Dull Coat, which will give it a matte finish. In 10 minutes, it'll be dry and it's time to do the highlights. I'm going to begin with the teeth. For this, I used linen white and I used it on the claws as well. I just dipped my brush in blood red and add it to this drop of pure white to create a pink color and I'm going to use this to highlight the gums. 
and the tongue. I mix Citadel Zushapti Bone and Reaper's Linen White to create a bone color and I'm going to just highlight the ribs. The dull coat made the flesh look matte, but it also dulled down the bloody parts. To fix that, I'm going to take that Vallejo water texture and just paint straight from the bottle, adding it to the red parts. Finally, it's time to glue our zombie lizard in place. The base has a very convenient footprint where the claw goes. Just glue it down with super glue and it's ready for the table. And our zombie Tyrannosaurus Rex is complete. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, put them below and we'll answer as soon as possible. Subscribe if you want to see more model painting, terrain building, and Dungeons and Dragons stuff in general. And please, share this video with your friends. This is Professor Dungeon Master for Dungeon Craft. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the table. And may all your future roles be 20s.